This is Getting Started with Autodesk Stingray, Part 2, Interface Overview, Viewport Navigation. In the level viewport, you can change your view by holding the Alt key and moving your mouse. You can also use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out on the level. Left of the viewport is the toolbar. You can test your level, run your project. There's the Move tool, Rotate tool, Scale tool, Placement tool, and Grid Step. Grid Step lets you set the grid options and measurements. Hold left click to access the grid menu or right click to enter a value manually. Rotation Step lets you adjust the degree of rotation for the grid. Left click for the menu or right click for manual values. Hotkeys for toolbar functions are in the edit menu. The window menu lets you adjust the layout, launch apps and add additional panels as needed. Bottom left is the asset browser, the script editor, the log console which keeps track of the backend functions. In the asset browser, click on content in the tree view. We're going to add an asset to the level. Select an asset to see it in the asset preview pane. You can rotate the object by holding the left mouse button and moving the mouse. You can drag and drop assets onto the level. The asset is highlighted by the XYZ manipulators. Click the window icon in the upper right of the viewport for multiple views of your asset on the level. To the right, the property editor has options available for the taxi asset, transform values, materials, and beast light mapping. The create panel enables you to add features to your level and assets. Navigation options, you can add cameras, objects, and lights. The plus icon will add or open these panels to this layout. Below is the explorer panel. Here you can search for and view every asset in the current project. And that's it. 